In this lesson we're going to learn how to make a menu bar and it is actually quite easy to do in PyQt. The first thing we do is create um, the menu bar or really we just create a connection to the menu bar. Then we create the root menus, they're the ones that you see on your menu bar when you look at a window. Then we create the menu actions and those are the things that you click on and actually do something within a menu. And then you either you can add those actions to those root menus. You can also add a sub menu and then add actions to those sub menus instead. And that's what we're going to see in this next lesson. Okay, so let's create our uh, menu bar. So this is really quite similar to what we've had before. The main change is we're now actually using a Q main window. Um, and that's because that's the widget that actually has a menu bar with it. Um, and then we've got this Q action that we need to import here because it's the Q action that will enable us to make things that, um, like when I click here, that create these that actually do something. And then I've got this Q app here just so that I can have access to the um, the exit um, function of a window so we can actually have that in this quit trigger here. Um, setting the window size, nothing new, so title, nothing new, size, um, we've not really done it like that, we've done it differently before but that should be quite self-explanatory and showing nothing there and obviously here's our loop and then here we're creating an instance of our um, widget here and here we're um, basically looking for that um, exit trigger by clicking on a you know the plus sign up there so um, I've also just said that you don't have to do it quite like this but I've sort of like put some um, hinters here what we're going to do so the first thing I want to do is create the menu bar and you can call it what you like I'm going to call mine bar and that is going to be self and then menu bar it's already there nothing to do then I want to create the root menus and I'm going to have one that says file like here and one that says edits and because I want to add things to them I do actually need to know um, their names or I have references to them so I have file and so file is going to be what we get when we go to bar and we add a menu and what I'm going to do is I can just call it file and I'm going to change it later on and I'm going to have another one that I'm going to call edit and that's going to be bar, nothing new, it's going to be the same thing again and this one is going to be edit. I don't know if we actually get anything straight away there. Yeah, look, we've got those, but there's there's nothing in them. I mean, in fact, it's trying to show, it tries to show something there, but nothing yet. Okay, so we've done that. Now we're going to create the things that go inside. I'm going to have a new and um, I'm going to have um, an exit or a quit um, and I'm going to have a, a save rather than the save as. But OK, so let's see how we create one of those things. So let's go for um, save and I can call it what I want. I'm going to call it save action just to make it clear that it is an action and it's a Q action and then what we do there is we give it the name that we want it to be so let's call it save and uh, that's what we'll see when we click down here it's this bit and then it needs a reference to the widget so it's a reference to self and um, just like when you know this here settings control alt s well we can do the same things we can give a shortcut to save so I'm going to save action dot set it shortcut cut and I'm going to make it whoops I'm really messing that one up I'm going to make it um, control plus s so that will now um, create a it will say save and then at the end it will have control s and using control s will work so that would give me a save action and then I'm going to have a new action and a quit action in the same way but I'm also just speeding things up here so these are exactly the same I've also got a find action and a replace action which I'm not giving shortcuts to now if I run my program at the moment you might think well where are they going to be they're not going to be anywhere 
And the reason they're not going to be anywhere is we've not added them yet. We've created these actions, but we've not added them to um, our file or edit menus that we get at the top. So now we go to this next bit and we're going to add our actions. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to go to file and to file I want to add an action. And the first action I want to add at the top one, I want to go for my new action. And then after my new action, I want to have my um, save and quit actions. Now if I run it now, click on file, we actually do have these choices. And look, they've got those shortcuts. Now something slightly different now. I don't want to have it that um, if I go to find here, for instance, when you go and find, you get choices. Now, I'm not going to do as many as that. I'm just doing two because I want to show you what to do. So let's go to um, edit now. So we're going to go to, just going to get these here. We're going to go to, oh, I've not got it. Oh, so I'm going to go to a find menu. So I want to create um, this one here. So find menu. Is going to be a menu and I have to give it a name because just like here I wanted access to it so find menu is going to be what we get when we go to edit dot add menu just like we did before and in there I'm going to give it the name find dot 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 um, I'm not just find Okay, so to this find menu now, what I want to do is I want to add these act actions again, just like I did before. So we're going to go to find menu, dot add action, and then the first thing I want to do is the find action, and then I want to go to find menu, dot add action, and I want to add the replace action and if we run this now we get these choices I go over to edit I've got that little arrow and I've got these other choices here okay so that's how we add them so how do we use them we can add events so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event that could look at and um, we could use globally for a menu and an event that can look at an individual thing and we can see those here so the first event is let's do um, the um, quit action um, event so we've got this action quit action so let's say quit action and then what we want to do is have we selected it and we don't actually use selected we actually use triggered and then I'm going to get rid of that and connect just like we're used to doing and what we're going to do is we're going to call self and then we're going to call this one here which I've set up already called um, quit trigger okay so when it calls quit trigger and we'll go back up the top here that's what this is for we're going to call Q app and then it's Q app and it's got um, quit now Q app quick will quit the function now so we go file new nothing quit it goes so that one's working um, and again just so you can see um, file I can now do control and Q in fact not control and Q I don't want to if I now just run it and do control and Q without bringing up the window control and Q it goes um, then I've got selected selected can be quite an interested one so I've not actually set this yet so let's say file and I'm going to go um, triggered and we're going to connect and we're going to call um, self dot selected and so what that's going to do now it seems odd because nothing came up there and files not an action but it can do the same thing so what we're going to do is whenever that does we're going to print to the console q dot text plus selected so let's see what happens now we're going to run this file new you can see down here it says new selected file save save collected edit nothing because obviously this was just the file 
Um, what else can we do? Well, let's just go um, up here. We've got this one. Let's go to this action here. Let's just put an ambersand in front of that. And now let's run it. This is our last thing. File. Look what we've got here. We've got that. So all I've got to do is click on Q and it, it called that first, but then it quit the, um, the program. So I hope you found that helpful and you can put that into action in your programs. We're going to um, add that to um, our notepad program. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in infield with Winfield.